before God, before three weeks time, eh? proper divine intervention will come to you. Amen. That's the way I see if you do it, it will happen to you. So choose your time. Lift up your hand. What do you want God to do for you? Divine intervention. Eh? Divine intervention. Divine intervention. Everybody say divine intervention. Divine intervention. Lift up your hand if you want to receive it. Say, I receive. I receive. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. And what do you want God to do for you? Bless me and bless my family and my goodbye. I didn't hear you. I want God to bless me, bless my hand, work, and well, prosper open your me. Hand. Today, I release that prosperity to your family, to the work of your hand. For today, I release you to be favored. I release you to be favored. Let the anointing of God move you forward. You will not be stagnated in Jesus' name. Amen. Whoever you say, Amen. You have put your hand on your head with your apple. It's not by might. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's not by power. By my spirit. It's not by might. It's not by might. It's not by power. It's not by power. But God 
pastor, I should tell you, don't look on your worry. Mm. I have stepped in to do a new thing. Mm. I have stepped in to do a new thing. Amen. I have stepped in to do a new thing. Amen. I have stepped in to do a new thing. Amen. When we think about the goodness of God in our lives, we ask ourselves, are we faithful? Are we grateful? Are we grateful to what God is doing for us? Many of us are not. But hear you the word of God. Today can mark a turning point in your life, in your family, in your life, in your family. You will pray this one prayer before I release this prophecy to every family. There are families that are here. Everybody, year to year, they are complaining things are never well. Whether your foundation is wrong, God uses a prophet to reverse evil foundation and turn it for good. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say in the name of Jesus. Every evil foundation. Every evil foundation. In my family. In my family. Today. Today. I reject it. I reject it. Today. Today. I reject it. I reject it. It will never work. It will never work. In my family. In my family. Every failure. Every failure. It will never work. It will never work. In my family. In my family. Every frustration. Every frustration. It will never work. It will never work. In my family. In my family. Today. Today. I recover. I recover. The destiny. The destiny. Of my family. Of my family. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say amen. Amen. All eyes closed as I prophesy. Listen to me. I want 25 families here who believe when the prophet speaks, he will remove the spirit of hunger, frustration, stagnation, gathering and scattering, vision without realizing it. The anointing to reverse it is here. There are 25 families I want to pray for. In the next two weeks, we are coming before God for Thanksgiving. I need you. You will come here with just one bag of rice. Say, God, thank you for this prophecy. I have received it. God, open my eyes as I pray for you now. How things will happen from now to the next two weeks will be a wonder. Your stepping out will change a lot in your own life, in your own family. Man of God, I believe in faith. I can make it. Come here and stand before me. I'll lay hand on your head. Release you. In two weeks' time, come before God. But that Thanksgiving day, carry a bag of rice. One full bag of rice. Come and say, God, I thank you. All eyes closed. I'm not talking to everybody. There are people I'm talking to. Those who believe in change. From one bag to five bags, God will use you. I counted there are 25. 25. I say, one full bag. I counted there are 25. God will use your stepping out to end error and stage of hunger, frustration, disappointment, gathering and scattering. Everything you're doing that refuse to work, I see breakthrough. 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 Amen. I see breakthrough. Amen. All of you, open your hand. I'm a prophet. I want to tell you that God can bless. I want to tell you that God can heal. All of you there in the congregation, stretch your hand here. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. When you accept an atmosphere of hunger, disappointment, the devil takes over. When you reject him, God takes over. And show you mystery that you never know. Before two weeks time, that 13th of December of that Thanksgiving, many of you here, we see a turnaround that will shake the foundation of your family. Amen. Including me that is standing here. Including me. 13th of December. 
is a door of reckoning. When we come together and say, this is what the Lord has done. I tell you, you'll be shocked what you will see. Open your hand, all of you. You in the congregation, set your hand here. Now, I don't care whom you are. In the congregation, there are six of you. The Spirit of God is saying, show this one bag of rice or that attained, and I will show you mercy. You are in total serious financial mess. But you can win this battle. Only a step of faith makes you realize this vision. Six of you standing there. I'll give you one minute when you step out I pray for these people. You're six. Six. One bag of rice is not bigger than all the trouble we passing through over the years. God is saying to you, put this as a sacrifice before me and I will show you mercy. Put this as a sacrifice before me and I will show you mercy. Two people are here, remaining four. I want to pray. Now, if I open my mouth and pray, the road is crossed. You will see that little team you would have used to win your battle have sent you back six months backward. But when God touches you, you obey him, you see another level of progress beyond your own imagination. The man of God is not looking for rice to eat. The man of God is obeying the word of God to lift you to another level. There are three of you now remaining. I want to prophesy upon these people. Don't come by struggle. Come because you know the bigness of your God. You will win this battle. You will win this battle. You will win this battle. God bless you, my sister. You are coming out.